Hi boys and girls and welcome to Storytime with Miss Abby. Today I've got the story If You Give a Pig a Pancake by Laura Numero. I hope you enjoy it. If you give a pig a pancake, she'll want some syrup to go with it. You'll give her some of your favorite maple syrup. She'll probably get all sticky, so she'll want to take a bath. She'll ask you for some bubbles, and when you give her the bubbles, she'll probably ask you for a toy. You'll have to find your rubber ducky. The duck will remind her of the farm where she was born. She might feel homesick and want to visit her family. She'll want you to come too. She'll look through your closet for a suitcase. Then she'll look under your bed. When she's under the bed, she'll find your old tap shoes. She'll try them on. She'll probably need something special to wear with them. When she's all dressed, she'll ask for some music. You'll play your very best piano piece and she'll start dancing. Then she'll want you to take her picture. So you'll have to go and get your camera. When she sees the picture, she'll ask you to take more. Then she'll want to send one to each of her friends. You'll have to give her some envelopes and stamps and take her to the mailbox. On the way, she'll see the tree in your backyard. She'll want to build a tree house. So you'll have to go get her some wood, a hammer and some nails. When the tree house is finished, she'll want to decorate it. She'll ask for some wallpaper and glue. And when she hangs the wallpaper, she'll get all sticky. Feeling sticky will remind her of your favorite maple syrup. She'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if she asks you for some syrup, she'll want a pancake to go with it. And that's the story, If You Give a Pig a Pancake by Laura Numero. Come join me again next time for more story time with Miss Abby. See you!